All right, good morning comments. Uh, last time I did a video on radical equations and today I wanted to supplement that with another video. This is what happens if you have an extraneous solution. So what if you're solving a radical equation and all of a sudden you get a number that does not check out? In other words, you get a solution that when you plug it back in to check, it does not work. I want to show you a quick example of what I mean by this and I hope you'll follow along with me. This is square root of x minus two, minus four is negative six. So as you know, the first step is to isolate the radical on one side. Now I can get that square root on the left side by itself. I only need to get rid of that negative four and I can do it by adding four. So now that I've added four, what happens on this side? The square root stays the way it is, and the negative four disappears to the right side. Negative six plus four, negative two. Good. So now let's go ahead and get rid of that square root symbol. To get rid of a square root, I have to do the opposite of square root. I have to square it. And to make it fair, let's square both sides. All right, so whatever's inside the radical is just gonna come on out. So I get x minus two. And on the other side, I get negative two squared. Now, negative two times negative two, that's gotta be positive four, right? So I put the four on this side. And now we're ready to get the x by itself. And all I have to do is add two to both sides. So let's see what happens when I do that. So now we have x equals 6. Let's go ahead and check that. So when I put 6 back into the x spot, I get 6 minus 2 on the inside, and I'm going to have to subtract 4 to get back to negative 6. Let's see if that works. So the square root of 6 minus 2, that's the same thing as the square root of 4. All I did was I subtracted the numbers on the inside. All right, let's take the square root of four. Let's see what we get. And I still get two. So what's two minus four? And this is the interesting part. You're gonna get negative two, but on this side, you're still gonna get negative six. So is negative two equal to negative six? Of course it's not. So I put a is not equal to symbol there. I just cross out the equal sign. So what happened? We tried to check this solution, but what happened was it didn't work. This is what's called an extraneous solution. You are not going to put this solution inside your solution set because guess what? It's not really a solution. So the answer is no solution. And then we can put the empty set right next to it to show that we have no solution. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe.